All of the sound design and much of the music you hear in this show was created with the help of Manipulator, the vocal effects processor and sound design tool made by Polyverse Music. For details on the plugin, visit polyversemusic.com. Welcome to this episode of Manipulated Tales. I'm your guest host, Jane. I am so excited about this episode of Manipulated Tales. My friend Will was kind enough to send in his ghost story. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to listen to it first time right now as well. And I hear it's awesome. I grew up in Cerritos, California. It's a suburb of L.A. It's like right in between L.A. County and Orange County. Pretty quiet area. Nothing really ever happens there. I was in eighth grade or ninth grade, so it was around the year 2000, 2001. I was talking on the phone at night with my friend Amanda. And uh, it was pretty late. It was a school night, so I remember my mom you know, yelling at me from downstairs, being like, get off the phone, you know, you need to go to sleep, uh, school tomorrow. And so I did what I feel like every teenager does. They turn off all the lights. And then like, I got under the covers, like under the sheets, and I was still talking to my friend on the phone uh, really quietly so that, you know, my mom, my parents wouldn't hear me talking because, you know, we're just talking about stuff. To be honest, I don't remember what we were talking about exactly, but... Uh, I just remember as we were having our conversation, I just kind of heard a click on the phone and uh, it, it went silent. I was just like, okay, maybe she hung up. And I was just like, hello? Uh, hey, are you here? Are you there? Oh, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, I just heard this demonic voice. I can't even describe how it sounded like because it, it didn't sound human at all. It sounded like, if you can imagine what a demon sounds like, it sounded like that. It was just like snarling. It was night, you know, it was dark. And so um, right when it happened, I got so scared. I didn't know what to do. So I threw my phone across the room and I could still hear it on the phone. And I was hiding under my covers. Like I just went into complete uh, flight mode, you know, flight or fight. Like I just shut down and I was like using my hands to cover my ears, but I could still hear it because it was so loud. And then finally I, it stopped. And I heard my friend Amanda, her voice again on the phone. And she was like, hello, hello, like, are you there? I ran to the phone and I was like, please tell me you heard that. Was that you? Like, you know, like what, what happened? And she's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was just like, I just heard some crazy voice on the phone. And she was like, I don't I have no idea. It just went dead on her side. There was no, no way it could have been static. It sounded alive. It sounded like a monster. It sounds so crazy for me to say that out loud, but it really truly sounded like, like there was no animal or no human that could like replicate the voice that I heard. This leads to a second encounter. This must have been at least half a year or a year later. I was in my room, same room, and I was at my desk. And I remember I was doing homework and uh, I had a speaker, like a stereo system right next to me in, on my desk. And it was like really big. It was like, it had like 
like uh like three cd changers that you could like rotate and it had like a tape deck and these huge speakers like on the side of it i think it was iowa yeah 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 everyone had them i think so i remember i was like in my room doing my homework whether i forget whether it was like history or biology or something and um i was listening to uh, a radio station called star (laughs) 98.7 This was probably eight o'clock. And um, I remember just listening to the radio, some song was playing and then it stopped. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then same demonic snarling voice came out of the radio. I just remember being like, what? Why? Why is this happening? I just remember being like more fed up the second time as opposed to being scared because I was like, what is this? I was just like angry. I was like, and and it lasted for a a little while. And just me, if you can just imagine me being like, why? Why is this happening? (laughs) that this voice is coming out of this, uh, this machine and, um, and then stopped. And uh, I remember the, the DJ, it like stopped for a second and then the DJ came back on and he sounded really confused. Sorry about that folks, we're not really sure what just happened here, but... So I don't know if he heard it or if whatever happened on their end, but he just said, uh, I'm sorry about the interruption or interference or something. Um, we'll be back to our regular schedule programming. I remember him sounding very confused and you know, silent for a good maybe 10, 15 seconds. And then the music just started playing again, uh, whatever song it was. I just remember being like, and this was like kind of pre-internet time. It was like, the internet was like, I I probably had AOL at that time. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like what it is now where you could just like go on Google and then see what everyone's saying about something. It was kind of just like right before that time. So I remember just being like, did anyone hear this? Like, but I had no kind of like outlet to ask, you know, like if it was now, I'd just be on Facebook and be like, who was listening to Star 98.7? Did you guys hear this? You know, like, but no, at that time it was just like, you had no way of kind of interacting with anyone else that was on the, living on the outside. I think I might've even brought it up to a few friends. I don't think anyone had, heard it. It, it, it also i don't think many people listen to star 98.7 back back in the day i mean there's a reason why it doesn't exist now right And that brings us to a close of this manipulated tale. Thanks to Will for stopping by and sharing his story. We will be back. No pun intended. (laughs) We will be back with more as we help you count down closer to Halloween. If you have a scary story and you still haven't shared it, please write it in there in the comments below. I would love to read them. Happy Halloween. And see you back here soon. Additional music was provided by The Night Shift at iWorkTheNightShift.com. Visit PolyverseMusic.com.